but looking out and seeing just our fans just hurt and disappointed at the show they're not supposed to be hurt and disappointed at was really I was waiting for like a tomato to hit me in the side of the head. A question that I was curious about because I think people again take it for granted because your journey has been so organic yeah. that when you got to the main event of WrestleMania, it just felt right. Every single person in that sure. building was like, Yeah, this is what the main event of WrestleMania should this. be. But the more I thought about it, the more I was like, Look, I'm I'm I mean, I remember how I looked at Roman. Yeah five or six years ago. I look at him totally differently now. I remember how I looked at the Usos five or six years ago. Oh, Sammy and KO, Seth Rollins. Like, you look at him differently, and it's the same for you, but you're still the same human being. Except now you can answer, what does it feel like to main event WrestleMania? I think there's this natural high that you get from doing what we do. You go out, thousands of people they screaming cheering booing whatever it might be but then there's a next level euphoria that we can only ever hope to get to and the only way you can get to it is the most selective moment in what we do is the main event of wrestlemania i was telling my my mom i was like you know it's it's like getting elected president in the business to know you've got the match You've got the match that is going to main event the year of sports entertainment, also the year of pro wrestling. It's going to put it all together. And this year, there was a whole other feeling about there was a real excitement. I'm not knocking any previous main events, but I mean, if you were there and so far, and even at home, you could feel it. Um, it's, it's a tough question to answer because as beautiful and amazing and that whole week I was just very zen and chill and talked even quieter than I'm talking now and just 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 was so geared up and amped up and ready and every community appearance and everything I did I just it was just even even with long hours it was genuinely just a blessing but it's very bittersweet because it's great to main event Wrestlemania right unbelievable it's again like being elected president and what we do you will you main evented wrestlemania something that no one in my family had ever done however after having done it it's you have to win at wrestlemania you have to win and i think that's why you know i i didn't come out swinging the next day in terms of whining or moaning um there's a, there's a part of the documentary where they they got they got me coming right through the curtain after that's a very uh heavy feeling i remember feeling like i had been hit like with a hammer right in the chest and just like the color even had left my body by the time i got to the gorilla the go position and i and i don't know if it's sadness or disappointment or shock shock of like this really happened because then sitting there in the ring i knew that i knew i was being filmed i knew i was being shot and i I knew how sad I looked and I was thinking you gotta get up in my mind I was saying you gotta get up and I was looking out at the crowd and I saw my own family and I'm thinking okay they they can handle this they've they've seen everything they can handle this but looking out and seeing just our fans just hurt and disappointed at the show they're not supposed to be hurt and disappointed at was really I was waiting for like a tomato to hit me in the side of the head I was just like oh this is the worst case scenario. So as exciting as it is to have my name there as the guy who main evented WrestleMania, which happened to be the most profitable WrestleMania of all time. Coincidentally. Coincidentally. Uh, uh, it's still, I, it's still, I don't know. I would love to hopefully five years from now ask me a different question. I'd, you got to win at WrestleMania.